So for today, we're going to be looking at my favorite sets that I've made this season. Now, before I get started with this, let me just say these are not like my uber favorite ones that I that I don't have any other favorites. I have multiple favorites that I've made this season because I've made a lot of armor sets this season. So this might be the first of many favorite videos. So just be aware of that, because while I was trying to make this video, I was like, man, I really like this other armor set as well. So I might actually make a second and a third one. We'll see how many I make because there's a lot of armor sets that I made this season that I just think looks amazing and do deserve to be in this. So instead of making just one big fat video, I just decided to make the one first. And then if I just decide like, okay, there's too many, I'll make a fat video for that. Specifically like on my favorite hunter fashion this season, maybe I'll do that. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to do it. But yeah, let's just, uh, let's get into it. Psych! Before we get into it, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Really does help because a huge portion of people are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub. It really does help, motivates me, helps me with my analytics, and it helps me to reach my goal of not having to work an actual job anymore. So be safe. Thank you, and let's get into it. So to start off, we're gonna be looking at Liar's Handshake for the Hunters. This one, if you guys have been watching my weekly challenges slash Eververse videos, you guys will actually see that I posted this one in that video and nowhere else because I just didn't know where to put the video. Like I just, I didn't know where. I did make a Liar's Handshake video a while back ago. I'll have it up right now. This, I didn't have, I didn't think of these pieces when I made that video because in hindsight, I would have, I would have used this set. And if I did, I'm dumb. But either way, this is legitimately one of my favorite sets that I made because everything works well. So helmet, we're using the Iron Foreigner mask because I love this helmet. It's my favorite helmet in the game. Uh, for the chest piece, we're using the Nemean Caress. Not my favorite chest piece, but it looks good with this set. And I will tell you why. The Strides of the Great Hunt, you guys will see that it has pants or at least shorts. They look like shorts. Um, the green part. It looks really cool when I pair it with the Nimi and Cures because it looks like it's connected. For the cloak, we're using the Ephrodite's Iron Cloak because it's it's also one of my favorite cloaks in the game. And I think the Iron Foreigner with the Ephrodite's Iron Cloak just looks so fucking beautiful. For the shaders, we're using Iron to Steel, which is, again, one of my favorite shaders. You can't even give me shit for this. This shader is amazing. For the other shader for the helmet, we're using the Emerald Splash. So, all right, sit down, we lads and ladies, because I'm going to tell you how I searched every shader in the game that I currently have. And I have like six pages of shaders. I clicked on every shader to see if I can find a green that was remotely close to the Iron to Steel shader. Unfortunately, there was no green that was close to this. There was like one or two, but it was just not good enough for me. So instead of being like, well, fuck it. If I can't find a green, I'm just going to go black. And you know what? I think that was the best choice because when I when I did the black, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize this. But the, the straps on the chest piece and the boots, they almost look black. If not, they are black. And I, from, from there, I was like, this, this looks good. The only thing I hate about this look is the fact that these strides of the great hunt have this like very off gold, not even gold. It's like almost like a rose gold. No, like a very light gold uh, on the boots that just doesn't change color, unfortunately. So there are shaders that you can use that basically take that color as well so that way you can match with it but for me i was just like fuck it i don't care everything looks so goddamn perfect that i'm not gonna let the boots ruin it for me which sometimes it does piss me off but when i look at the whole thing it just looks amazing so hunters let me know what you guys think this is legitimately one of my favorite looks that i made for the liar's handshake rightfully so because this shit looks fire if you guys want to take this let me know in the comments below i'd be more than happy because you know what the f i'm not gonna stop you i'm not gonna tell you to know what are you what am i gonna say no don't use it okay as for the titans you guys will immediately notice which one this is because i literally just made this video not too long ago and this became such a fast favorite for me which is so funny but also not funny because i when, when i made this set 
I immediately knew this is the best set I've made this season. And I was like, not, I was super surprised because of just how much I love this set. So I'm not going to talk too much about this one and the next set because the next set is also one from a previous video that I made. But for the helmet reason, the virtuous helmet, I think this helmet just looks amazing. I will say I haven't tried the new helmet, the, the, uh, Fortnite helmet. I think the Fortnite helmet might look better. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see if it does. I'll have it in the comments below or just ask me and I'll tell you. But for the arms, you're using the arms up optimacy. This is the weirdest arms for me because I never use arms of optimacy. And when I, I, I saw the, I saw the like logo of the arms of optimacy and I was like, fuck it let's see how it looks with this and i was like yo why does this look good though like why does this actually look good so for me it looks really good uh chess piece obviously we're using the heart of inmost light that's the uh the exotic that i was pairing with specifically we were looking at that exotic and yeah it looks amazing i fucking love that for the boots this is where it gets interesting we're using the solstice graves magnificent i say interesting because Heart of Inmost Light, unfortunately, does not change the blue color. So you're kind of stuck with the blue color. So, for example, if you're trying to use this with um, like solar, like let's say you're trying to use a solar build. Yeah, it's not going to work because the Solstice Graves are going to change color. But not the glows for a Virtuous Helmet. So what I mean is the the uh, Precursor X Chrome is still going to be blue. You're going to have to change that color. And then you can't even change the color for Heart of the Most Light. So you're still fucked. So unfortunately, this is an arc build for me. Um, I probably will just switch out the helmet or the shader in general with something else and just ignore the blue. Or Bungie could, you know, fix it. That would be the best choice because, you know... <sighs> It's 2022, about to be 2023, dog. Please. And then for the mark, we're using the candescent mark. One of my favorite marks this year. It just looks super cool. It's just pure cloth, which is what I wanted. And it gives the Titan a very regal look, which is why I really like it. So not gonna not gonna over gush for this one because I have made a video for this one. Again, it's right here if you want to see it. But yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite looks, and I'm really, really proud of this look. And then last but not least, we have the Ophidian Aspect look. I made this video, or I made this look for the Ophidian Aspect video, which is right here. And you guys can't even give me shit for it. It looks amazing. I I still think the Lasso one is probably my more favorite, but it's just the fact that my, my Warlock just looks so regal. The colors look amazing. The glows the fact that the glows look so good, like you see the helmet and then you go from the bomb and then you go to the arm and you're just like, what that, like that order just for me, oh, it kills me. So for the helmet, Celestial Cover with the Ancient Wisdom for that beautiful green glow, the arms, obviously Ophidian Aspect. For the chest piece, we're using the Pyric Ascent Vestment. For the boots, we're using Shadows Boots. And for the bond, we're using the Corrupting Echo Bond few things to note the ancient wisdom is a shader from king's fall you get it from getting all the secret chests if i remember correctly and one of my favorite things about this is the fact that the ancient wisdom has such a good like turquoise dark turquoise color for the cloth but then you have like this really rich gold and then on top of all of that you have this really good green that goes well with the corrupting echo bond and the ball for, for the ophidian aspect so i think overall this is a shader that just matches ophidian so well and the boots i also think are amazing funnily enough i have two pieces in this set that have gems that don't change color specifically the pyric ascent vest has red uh red gems that don't change color and the shadow boots have purple gems that don't change color, but you almost never see it aside from the Pyr Pyric Ascent because there is one like right in the back. But other than that, like I probably, you probably didn't notice until I told you. So for me, these pieces are like legitimately some of the coolest pieces I've made in the game so far. I will probably be doing this as a series starting forward after like, after the season's like almost over, I'll make like a, my favorites this season 
which this is not even probably not going to be the first vi or this is probably going to be the first and to be fair this is probably just going to be a first because i'm probably going to make more videos because again there are so many that i i didn't put up here which again i can think of like three just off the top of my head for my hunter titan and warlock so i think if we are going to do this as a mini series because it is kind of going to be a mini series then i think starting forward the warlock titan and hunter are going to have their own separate videos so that way i can really gush over the armor pieces and it won't be like super duper long so let me know what you guys think in the comments below which one is your favorite which one is your favorite from all of the videos that i've made if you guys have been watching my videos let me know in the comments below uh, i could do a fan one that would be really cool that you guys can choose which one you guys like the most and then i can just make the video so let me know in the comments below be safe and i'll see you guys later